is Don. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own laparoscopic training box at home. So this box cost me under $400 to make with the materials. Um, if you just want the minimal basic graspers, it can cost you as little as $150 uh, if you cheap out on some of the equipment as well. So this box includes two graspers for basic dexterity training as well as a Maryland and a needle driver to practice intracorporeal suturing. Having this training box handy at home will help you practice your skills until they're perfect. So the box is very very simple, it's a clear plastic shoe box with a lid. As you can see I put it inclined like that and I screwed in uh, onto a cheap IKEA shelf four screws like that just to keep it very grounded. Bamboo sticks with a hot glue gun just to keep it simple and cheap. I like to keep it open, so I'm showing you there that I can pick things up um, easily instead of if it was a closed box it would be tough to reach with my hands. The back side looks like this with holes for the, a hole for the camera and three holes on each side for different angles uh, for the laparoscopic graspers. The hole for the camera is quite uh, big so that the camera can fit and it's attached with the hot glue and uh, that way I can move around the camera and I'm showing you there I even put some holes on the side. I connected the USB camera to my surface which is really useful with a touch screen. The graspers were found on eBay for about I think $30 each. They function quite well, they're made of plastic, they're light, and they turn very very smoothly. This is the tip I chose because I found that it was quite versatile for exercises I wanted to do. I bought two of these graspers and I also bought a Marilyn which is the same thing. I think this one was $40, plastic, turns well, and as you can see it's the serrated teeth and the curved uh, tip. The needle driver cost me a little bit more, $120, but it clicks very well, it's very well weighted, and it feels incredibly sturdy and real. The tip is curved, but it doesn't really matter which you choose. And this is how the box fits together. The exercises are very simple. I chose uh, some wooden cutting boards that fit into the box. I drilled some holes and put uh, little barbecue skewers to make some pegs there. In that little tray I have diverse little uh, donut shaped things that I can grasp and uh, put on the pegs. I have some bolts as well as a cut up a little uh, tube shaped thing as you can see. I also have some dried black beans that I can use to balance onto um, the little tubes as you can see and it makes a very nice, uh, simple, but not an easy uh, exercise. I put a simple strip of Velcro on the bottom of each uh, board, as well as on the bottom of the box so that it holds well. And this is a different board with these hook-shaped screws that I just screwed into the plate in this pyramid shape, and I'm threading a shoelace, kind of to simulate running the bowel and to have a different sort of dexterity. I'm not showing it here, but I put uh, also the smaller pegs on the other side where I can do also shoelaces or even uh, n um, needle exercises where I can thread the needle through uh, small holes like that. The suture pad I had previously, and it has these suction cups on the bottom that help it stick to the plastic uh, lid of the box. I can fix uh, the camera as I want, just like that. And then with the Maryland and the needle driver, I can practice uh, setting the needle on the driver at the right angle, um, picking it up, putting it down. As well, I have different sizes needles and sutures to change the difficulty of the exercise. And that's it. So I really hope that this video was helpful. I'll try and link things I found online in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Otherwise, 
good luck with the training. Bye.